Kemper Energy runs a number of electric and gas utility in California and also in South America. And personally, I have actually spent more than 20 years working in San Diego Gas Electric and Southern California Gas Company, mm -hmm. our California utility companies. One of the most challenging problems running a utility is emergency operations. If you think about firestorms, damaging burning poles, line systems, or you have uh, windstorm, you know, blow, blow down your equipment, your assets, lightning storms. And also, when you have landslide that expose, for example, gas transmission line, you know, that are in danger. So what do we do in those challenging situations? Well, we have problems sending people into the area to assess the situation. And oftentimes, we don't have enough information to mobilize our resources to get to the locations that we need to uh, look at the damages and so on. And oftentimes, we don't even have the relevant information to communicate to our customers or to the regulators what's going on. And when there are a lot of location impacts simultaneously, you run out of resources quickly. So those are really challenges that we do and deal with every day, right? So we're gonna run a video and show you what a simulated fire looks like and with integrated technology, what it can do for us. A wildfire breaks out along a power line. I'm an electric utility operator, and I'm alerted that a wildfire has broken out near an important transmission corridor. The challenge is how to share the data between different entities in the community and manage the event all from the control center. You notice multiple wildfires on the ESRI GIS map close to the important transmission corridor, and as per standard operating procedure, the line is de-energized. The pop-up shows real-time data updates indicating the line is out of service and receiving no power input. This can be confirmed through the Pi Corsite display. An hour later, I receive an alert from the Cal Fire Department that the fire has subsided. But I question, is it safe to send out a field crew? Is there any damage to the asset? And ultimately, is it safe to energize the line now? So I make a request to AeroVironment for line inspection from a drone. The videos are updated onto Esri GIS, and I can now click the pop-up and view the video of the transmission corridor for any damage. It is clear from the video that the fire has indeed subsided and the asset is undamaged. Through data sharing, this situational awareness can be provided to all of the stakeholder groups in the community. Now, I can make the informed decision to energize the line, returning power to customers faster, and from the Pi Corsite display, I can confirm that operations are now back to normal. Well, as you can see in the video, that with an integrated platform of technology like this, using drone, using real-time data, advanced imagery, and geographic information system that are integrated into the data, data layer. Our operators now have the most relevant information to, motive, to make the most informed decision in operating our power systems. Right. With that, we also help to bring our people in, into the operating areas more, more safely, and we can operate our system more reliably because of that, because we can restore power quickly. And but most importantly, we have more information available to us to inform our customers and also to improve our coordination response with fire agencies and other agencies to work together to respond to these major emergencies around us. Thank you very much.